Hello friends, we discussed about chromosomal aberration in previous videos. Chromosomal mm. aberration is the change in structure of chromosome. We discussed that there are four types of chromosomal aberration, deletion, duplication, inversion and translocation. In the first part of chromosomal aberration, we discuss deletion and duplication in detail and in second part, we discuss about inversion in detail. You can watch these videos, the link is given in the description box and today we are going to discuss about four type of chromosomal aberration that is translocation. What is translocation? It is the breakage of a piece of chromosome and its attachment to another chromosome. From one chromosome, a segment or piece of chromosome breaks and then it attaches to other chromosome. This is known as translocation. Now the types of translocation. First is non-reciprocal translocation. Transfer of a segment in one direction. Here this is one chromosome and this is the other chromosome. From the first chromosome a segment breaks. Breakage takes place at two points and this segment is then transferred and it attaches to the second chromosome. Here the break takes place at one place and then this segment attaches to it. Now this chromosome do not have that segment and this chromosome has the segment that breaks from this chromosome. So here the transfer of the segment takes place in only one direction. This is known as non-reciprocal translocation. Now the reciprocal translocation. This is the second type of translocation which is most common. Here a segment from one chromosome is exchanged with a segment from another non-homologous chromosome. Here from chromosome 1 a segment breaks and it attaches to chromosome 2. From chromosome 2 also a segment breaks and it attaches to chromosome 1. So the breakage and the attachment of the segment play, takes place in both the direction or the transfer of the segment takes place in both the direction. These are the translocated chromosome. This chromosome has a part of this chromosome and this chromosome has a part of this chromosome. This is known as reciprocal translocation. Now let us discuss in detail how the pairing of chromosome in a reciprocal translocation takes place. These two are the normal chromosome N1 and N2 and these are the translocated chromosome T1, T2. From this chromosome segment breaks and it attaches to this chromosome and from this chromosome a segment breaks and it attaches to this chromosome. In this way it gives two translocated chromosome T1 and T2. So here there are two normal chromosome N1 and N2 and two translocated chromosome T1 and T2. Now the pairing of the chromosome takes place during the packeting stage of the meiosis 1. We know that homologous chromosome pairs during the packeting stage of the meiosis 1. But here the pairing is different. Let us see it. So during the packeting stage, in order to properly align translocated and non-translocated portion, crisscross configuration is formed. This is the normal chromosome N1. A part of it pairs with translocated chromosome T1 and other part ABC pairs with the another translocated chromosome T2. This is the another normal chromosome N2. Here this portion pairs with the translocated chromosome T1 and this portion pairs with translocated chromosome T2. So in order to properly align the centromeres and the chromosome segments, crisscross configuration is formed. So here we can see the pairing takes place among each other and all the four chromosomes then forms a crisscross like configuration. Then what happens during the metaphase stage 
when the chromosome align along the metaphase plate. So here this is the metaphase plate and these are the two poles. These four chromosomes forms a ring or the circle like structure and these ring may be either twisted or these may be open. This is known as the alternate arrangement. Here this is the normal chromosome N1. This is T1 translocated chromosome. Normal chromosome N2 and translocated chromosome T2. And when these form the open ring like structure, two types of the arrangement takes place adjacent 1 and adjacent 2. In the adjacent 1, the arrangement is N1, then T2, N2, T1. In the adjacent 2, T2, N2, T1 and N1. Then the segregation. Spindle fibers attaches with the centromeres and the segregation takes place during the meiosis 1. So, how this segregation takes place? So, here this segregation is two types alternate and adjacent. In adjacent, adjacent 1 and adjacent 2. In the alternate, two types of the products or gametes are produced. One product has two untranslocated or the normal chromosome N1 and N2 and the another with the translocated chromosome T2 and T1. Here if we see the product which has the normal chromosome then it is it has all the gene loci hence it is viable. If we see this this is known as the balance translocation this also has all the loci. Here A, B, C this is balanced by DEF, similarly GHI and JKL. Here also it consists of all the loci. Hence, this is also viable or functional. And the offsprings that are produced by the fusion of the gametes are viable. Now in adjacent segregation, in adjacent one, one gamete consists of N1, T2 and the second consists of N2, T1. In the adjacent two, one gamete has N2, T2 and the other has N1, T1. And all the products or all the gametes have duplication and deletion product. If we see here, so the N1 has A, B, C, D, E, F. T2 has A, B, C, J, K, L. Here, A, B, C is in duplicated form. GHI is not present. But and JKL is present. Similarly, here GHI JKL is present. GHI is present in duplicated form. DEF is present and ABC is absent. Similar is the case here and here. So here, duplication and deletion products are produced, and these are inviable or less viable, or we can say non-functional. So the offspring that we get are less fertile or less viable. This is all for today's video. In the next video, we will discuss about Robertsonian translocation. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share it and subscribe my channel. Thank you.